Woolly Bear. Gangers had been cutting the lineside grass and cocking it. The fat controller sells the hay to hill farmers who want winter feed for their stock. At this time of year, when Percy comes back from the harbour, he stops where they have been cutting. The men load up his empty wagons and he pulls them to Farker. Toby then takes them to the hills. The farmers collect the hay from Toby's top station. When in the wagons, the hay is covered to prevent it blowing about. But on the line side, it is stacked in the open air to dry. Whee! Percy gave his ghostly whistle. Don't be frightened, Thomas, he laughed. It's only me. Your ugly fizz is enough to frighten anyone, said Thomas crossly. You're like, ugly indeed. I'm a green caterpillar with red stripes, continued Thomas firmly. You crawl like one too. I don't. Who's been late every afternoon this week? It's the hay. I can't help that, said Thomas. Time's time. And the fat controller relies on me to keep it. I can't if you crawl in the hay till all hours. Green caterpillar indeed, fumed Percy. Everyone says I'm handsome. Or at least nearly everyone. Anyway, my curves are better than Thomas's corners. He took his trucks to the harbour and spent the morning shunting. Thomas says I'm always late, he grumbled. I'm never late. Or at least only a few minutes. What's that to Thomas? He can always catch up time further on. All the same, he and his driver decided to start home early. It was most unfortunate that just before they did, a crate of treacle was upset over him. They wiped the worst off, but he was still sticky when he puffed away. The wind rose as they puffed along. Soon it was blowing a gale. Look at that, exclaimed his driver. The wind caught the piled hay, tossing it up and over the track. The gangers tried to clear it, but more always came. The line climbed here. Take a run at it, Percy, his driver advised. So whistling warningly, Percy gathered speed. But the hay made the rails slippery, and his wheels wouldn't grip. Time after time he stalled with spinning wheels and had to wait till the line ahead was cleared before he could start again. The signal man climbed a telegraph pole. The station master paced the platform. Passengers fussed, and Thomas seized impatiently. Ten minutes late. I warned him. Passengers will complain. And the fat controller. The signalman shouted. The station master stood amazed. The passengers exclaimed and laughed as Percy approached. Sorry, I'm late, Percy panted. So I should hope, scolded Thomas. But he spoilt the effect as Percy drew alongside. Look what's crawled out of the hay, he chortled. What's wrong? asked Percy. Talk about hairy caterpillars, puffed Thomas as he started away. It's worth being late to have seen you. When Percy got home, his driver showed him what he looked like in a mirror. Bust my buffers, exclaimed Percy. No wonder they all laughed. I'm just like a woolly bear. Please clean me before Toby comes. But it was no good. Thomas told Toby all about it. And instead of talking about sensible things like playing ghosts, Thomas and Toby made jokes about woolly bear caterpillars and other creatures which crawl about in hay. They laughed a lot, but Percy thought they were really being very silly indeed.